tonight, so you just jump right in and you read the changes, and it was, it was really good. Um, I know, of course, if you're more comfortable with the tune, that makes a big difference. So I recognize that, that you, you're not familiar with this tune. So that was a great job. Um, one, one thing I noticed um, is, um, and this is a really common thing among young players, that rhythm, there's so, especially as a jazz pianist, there's so much to learn harmonically that rhythm tends to take a back seat when you're learning to play jazz piano. Some, somehow it just develops that way. Um, you, when you were comping, a lot of the time you would, you would comp on the downbeat of, of the bar. Like comp right on one, you know, and it's okay to do that sometimes, but you'll find that you'll have more momentum if you, in general, try to comp more on the upbeats. And um, it's a matter of getting more comfortable with rhythm and comfortable with getting away from the upbeats. Like if you feel like you're not that solid in time or in your sense of rhythm, you might find yourself anchor, or trying to anchor yourself by hitting on one a lot. Um, and one way to get more comfortable, you know, this is something you can practice, um, a really like basic little rhythmic motif in, in jazz of like, you know, every type of jazz for the last hundred years would be dotted quarter note, eighth note, you know, like this kind of figure, two, three, like Charleston figure. Okay, now if you take that figure and you practice displacing it by an eighth note, like so it becomes, you guys play with it, okay, play with two. One, two, three, and then you, once you get comfortable with that, you can just place it over another beat. So you can just ba, one, ba, da, one, two, ha. Thank you. 